Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward. From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. The conversion of the former grain silos in Newtown, Johannesburg into trendy student accommodation called Mill Junction for neighboring university and college students has now been completed. Zandi Lemavuso has the story. After working on the project for 12 months, property investment and management company Critique has completed the 14-story building, which will cater for undergraduate students around Johannesburg. Critique MD Arthur Blake elaborates. The project started off with 10, 10 empty grain silos. So you can imagine you've got 35 meter high, 6 meter diameter concrete pipes, and you've now have to install floors into the uh, uh, on the different levels and you've got to cut passages and uh, uh, windows and doors into the units and then on those floors that you've constructed you've got to build walls for the different uh, units that you are putting into the building so what what we had to do was to innovate around how we can build these floors as fast as possible. The design wasn't very difficult because it's a very short span of six meters. So it's, it's not a difficult design and the project in, in essence is not very difficult. But it, is, uh, it takes a lot of time. So you've got to innovate all the time on how can you do things faster and how can you do them more cost effective. So we, we designed an in-house system of inverted trusses that we use to support the decking and we could go up in three silos at a time from floor from ground floor to the 10th floor and cast them uh, we erected the shuttering and then we casted all of those floors simultaneously targeting university students Blake mentions that it was critical for his team to create an environment conducive for student life in each container you've got enough space actually to put four students we reduced that to three students um, so we uh, a, a bit above the requirement of UJ and WITS for the size of a, a unit and I think you've gone through some of the units they are actually spacious Paul mentioned that they are not so big but uh, they are no smaller than my university residence that I had at Stellenbosch when I studied. <laughs> so, and, and if you go through, through Johannesburg to Witz and UJ hostels, you, they, the, the units are exactly the same size as they use those units. Given the success of the mill junction, Blake notes that the company is looking forward to converting the grain silos across the street from the mill junction into another successful project using the expertise gained from this project. It's most probably going to be a, a residential building, not a student accommodation. But if you say the same energy, uh, actually more, because we are now so much more confident that we can do it. Other news making headlines this week. South Africa's solar industry begins to mature and the first counterflow indirect evaporative cooling system is installed at a car dealership in South Africa. South Africa's solar photovoltaic energy industry has started to mature as costs come down and capacity rises. What is interesting for us and uh, showing the maturity and, of the industry and that um, is the fact that the pricing has come down and we're pleased with the, with the competitive pricing that was offered. In a bid to contribute to energy conservation in South Africa, car manufacturer Ford has installed the first counterflow indirect evaporative cooling system in the country at its Action Ford dealership in Krugersdorp. We are merely the custodians of this planet for our children and our grandchildren, hopefully. Therefore, as citizens, we need to do the right thing. We need to take responsibility and um, preserve energy, not waste energy with refrigeration cooling where possible so uh, for us if we can save a few trees if we can save a few people we make life better for all of us and as a responsible company action for decided that it's the right way to go and we looked for partners that feels the same when we built this building 
That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy.